Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I will be discussing one of my own personal favorite calf exercises, that being the seated barbell calf raise. This exercise was very common during the silver era of bodybuilding and was even implemented by Vince Gironda himself at his gym prior to him acquiring more modern calf machines. For those curious, this image comes out of my own personal collection and depicts the bodybuilder Mike Dadigan utilizing this exercise at Vince's gym in the late 1950s. If this movement looks sort of familiar, that is because the seated calf machines you see at the gym are basically an updated version of this exercise. Still, I think this lift can provide an excellent workout to the targeted area without being overly cumbersome or difficult to perform. In fact, there are many reasons I actually prefer the free weight variation seen here to the machine variation seen at most mainstream gyms. For one, this exercise requires very little equipment. A simple wooden block, a loadable barbell, and a humble flat bench are all you need. In addition, it takes up very little room, which is very important if you are limited on space like me. In this video, I will explain how to perform this very overlooked exercise and provide a brief demonstration for all of you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this movement, feel free to leave them in the comment section. With all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. As far as where you can find more about the seated barbell calf raise, I am taking my description from page 501 of Keys to the Inner Universe by Bill Pearl, which is a book I would highly recommend. If you are a weightlifter, I would definitely say it is a must have. This exercise, as mentioned previously, was used by Vince Gironda during the early days of his gym. Prior to beginning the exercise itself, you want to position a thick wooden block, either a 2x4 or a 4x4 in regards to American measurements, roughly 12 inches in front of a flat bench. You will then place a moderately heavy barbell on your upper thighs just behind your knees. If you encounter pain while doing this, place a folded towel underneath the barbell to act as a makeshift cushion, and this was very common throughout the Silver Era of bodybuilding and was actually recommended by Vince Gironda himself. Go back to that image of Mike Dadigan and you can see him doing it, and in my demonstration coming up, I am doing that as well. But if you don't find it necessary, you don't have to, it's optional. From here you will place only the balls of your feet and toes on the edge of this elevated board. Make sure to keep an erect posture throughout. You will then inhale and press off your toes holding the top position for a few seconds before returning to the starting position. Do not be tempted to use your arms to assist in lifting the barbell. This is a true isolation exercise, and if you have to use your arms to lift the barbell, you need to decrease the weight. One tip here is you can actually alter the angle of your feet by bringing your toes in or pointing your toes out to help in isolating both the lateral and medial portions of the calf muscle. Overall, this exercise provides effective stimulus to the calves without the need of a bulky calf machine or a squat rack, which makes it a perfect at-home exercise. As you can see, I am seated on this flat bench and I've got my towel situated. From there, I have my feet on this board and I have lifted this barbell on to my thighs and placed it just behind my knees. And now you can see I am raising off my toes quite high and holding that for about two seconds and then going back down slowly. You can see my hands are on the outside of the barbell here, but I'm not using them to assist me in any way. They are simply there to hold the barbell stable while I am isolating my calves. In this demonstration, I just do it with my toes pointing forward, but as previously mentioned, you can turn the toes in or the toes out, or do all three as a circuit to target every aspect of the calf muscle, which, if you're following Vince Gironda's program, a muscle has four sides, which is something I will cover in the future, that is how I would recommend to do this exercise. But that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about this or anything else, or any future video ideas, please leave them in the comment section below. 
But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.